Texas Rangers manager, Bruce Bochy. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon or good morning here. How's it going? It's going well. It's going well. I know there's still plenty of work to be done, and every day is a new challenge, but is the air a little crisper? Are the birds a little sweeter to hear <laughs> when you're on a winning streak? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. You sleep better. Uh, yeah, it's really uh, it's been really cool to see how, you know, how the guys have uh, played here this past week and got on a good roll playing more the brand of baseball that we're accustomed to. Uh, we're you know getting those big hits. Uh, we're getting some slug. And pitching, you know, we've talked about that. It's It's been pretty consistent all year. But the defense, uh, what a great job uh, they've done through all this. So, you know, we got uh, you know four more big games here before the break. And that's our goal is to finish as strong as we can here to you know, stay in this thing and make some ground. I, I know a lot of positives to talk about on this team. And it doesn't matter who hits the home run. It will count the same. And the win counts as one win. But – it felt like a Dolus hitting what was the game-winning home run. That feels like a big deal, does it not? It does, and and you know we last year we uh, saw this a couple of times when he would go in a little bit of a slump and then he did a home run. You can see him let out the emotion. He, he's been battling it, uh, trying different things at the plate, trying to get on track, and there's no getting around it. We need the guy. The guy can carry us uh, at times, but more than that, just you know, be consistent up there. You know, do his thing, drive in runs, and provide the long ball. And when he doesn't go, it just makes it that much more uh, more difficult. Now you're leaning on you know some other guys uh, uh, that really you should be you know having to lean on. I'm talking about the back end of the order, things like that. I mean, Corey, you saw him get walked twice and. So that's why it's so important to have Dolly going. He just gives us another big bat in that lineup. You know, Bo- Bocho, I, I heard you talking a little bit about y'all's timing on the fastball and kind of finding that, being out in front of it a little bit more. And I, I was just kind of curious if you could get, elaborate a little more on what you were seeing before and what you're starting to see right now with the barrel finding the, the, the ball, right, in, in the fastball specifically. Yeah, it's all about being on time with the fastball. I mean, we, you know, just uh, we're catching it too far back in the stance. Uh, you know, when you hit a, uh, a pitch, uh, for, for the most part, especially the middle end, you know, you got to catch it out front a little bit. Uh, the head stays behind the ball, then it swings in front of the eye, so to speak. Now, the ball away, you're going to hit a little bit further back because it's, you know, you're hitting to the opposite side. Yeah. And, uh, but we were just late and fouling those balls off and, and missing pitches that. We should be hitting. Uh, so, you know, hitting guys, been working on these guys. Uh, one thing, we did change our batting practice a little bit and uh, just brought Beasley in a little bit closer, throw it a little bit firmer to, you know, to get them to be a little quicker to the ball. Uh, you know, sometimes you can get in some bad habits and maybe try to hit, uh, play home run derby and BP. And I'm not saying they're doing that, but it's like soft toss. Uh, I mean, what I mean by soft toss in the cage, you know, they do that. Well, you, you can create some habits doing that, too. So that's why it's good to hit off a machine sometimes with velo and, and maybe just change uh, some things up uh, during your batting practice routine. Well, whatever it's doing right now, it's looking good. We're loving it right now. I was kind of curious also, your what was the most encouraging part from Max Scherzer's outing last night for you? I, I love the way the guy competes, uh, Gosh, he gives up runs. Uh, yeah, we have a lead, and he didn't came in, and here he was in the seventh. Uh, he just, you know, has a way of uh, getting through things uh, because of his experience, uh, uh, his stuff, but uh, more his just competitive nature. And he was determined to keep us in that game and help us win that ball game. You know, he threw, I think, 93 pitches. So, you know, he's in, that's about his comfort now, I think. But, he doesn't. He doesn't give in. He doesn't get down. He just has that great focus. We talk about uh, no matter what happens, uh, you get nicked up. A lot of times, you you've seen guys, you know, get frustrated or even get down. But uh, that's that's not uh, Max. You know, he's all about winning the game, and that's something that I, I think I've talked about before. But you know, 
when when we were younger, that was a big thing for a starting pitcher. You know, that's that's why you're out there to win the game. It's not ERA, it's not all those numbers. It's getting a W. And you know, now those starters don't quite get those W's like they used to. And I, I think that's taken away a little bit from you know that part of the game. Yesterday, Boat, your all-star closer came in and, and is perfect still in those situations. I'd love for you to talk about from a catcher's perspective when you have a good reliever who's a fastball split finger guy and then from a hitter's perspective because it looked like at the end of the game there, Joe Adele was definitely waiting for another split finger and never got it and kept getting fastballs. And the last one went by him at 94 miles an hour. So can you kind of discuss – having a split finger fastball guy uh, as a reliever uh, and how you know when a guy or when a hitter might be just looking for that split finger. Yeah. And you know, it, everything's uh, set up and sometimes uh, you have to do what we call reset and uh, eye washing with the pitch. It may be that split down in the dirt to get them thinking about the split. Uh, Maybe, you know, the fastball off the plate a little bit or up, you know, to get them thinking fastball, then you go with the split, things like that when you're pretty much a two-pitch guy. But he does have a slider. Uh, but I'll say this about uh, uh, Kirby. Uh, yeah, he's basically fastball split, but the command of the fastball, I mean, did you see strike three on him last night <laughs> in the game? Uh, it's just right on the black. Well, even if you're looking for that pitch, that's going to be tough to hit. So he's got remarkable command on both sides of the plate, and he's uh, uh, up and down too, or as they say now, north-south. But uh, he, And then, of course, the split, there's a pretty big uh, variance of speeds. And the split, when he throws it, it comes in. When they first see it, it looks like a fastball. That's why you're throwing the split. And, uh, and so he does it as well as anybody as, as – as far as staying in that same tunnel, so to speak. And, uh, uh, but, you know, the first hitter, he actually hit a split well. Of course, he had two home runs, too. Uh, geez, almighty, that guy's killing us. Uh, he's, uh, but, uh, you know, that's when Kirby has a ability to know what they're looking for. And uh, he calls his own game out there. So he, he's got a good feel. Not a, uh, a newer addition to the pitching staff for you guys. I was hoping you could give the fans some insight to Daniel Robert, who he even said when he got called up, he was like, not that long ago, I was in high A. I was 27. I was thinking about quitting. And then when you see how far he's made it, that feels like an inspiring kind of story. Really is. Because I heard the same thing. He was thinking about shutting it down. He was getting older. He had, you know, had a family to take care of. And, thought maybe he was spinning his wheels, but this guy's got great stuff. And, you know, I, I wanted a little better landing, but the first game, you know, we had a five-run lead, and I could have brought him in the ninth. It had been his first outing. I was a little concerned because I was trying to stay away from Yates. Uh, and once with Roberts, and, uh, you know, I would have had to get Yates up again. And so I, I went ahead and, uh, and went with Sporzy there, but uh, I'll, I'll get him in there. And what you're going to see, you're going to see a big fastball, first of all. I mean, he'll be 97 in that area. He may bump 98 or even 99, um, but it's slider. It's a big pitch, and uh, he's got good command of it. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's you know he, he can break it down a little bit, uh, and he's got the sweeper a little bit. So, he, you know, it's, it's Different one there, and he you know, mixing the change up, but uh, he's a big guy with uh, power stuff, and uh, that works a high leverage situation. You know, Boach, last year, a lot of times, you know, I'd ask you, when did you know about this team? And you would tell us, hey, it was spring, it was spring training, whenever I saw what they were all made of and they committed the work and everything. And I don't know if this year you've kind of learned a few more things along, along this year, but. When this team, when all the players are playing at their best, is there anything that this team actually needs to add to it? Yeah, and you know, see why I and I I'm talking about. It. Yeah, we we love this team. You know, gosh, we're we're getting JJ back, Josh uh, Young after the break. Uh, you know, you look what Smitty's done. Now, now we got the guy that can play anywhere, including the outfield, give guys uh, days off or you know, come off the bench and pinch hit. I mean, I'm going to have to play him somewhere with what he's done. I'm still hoping that he'll make the all-star team. But to your point, yeah, I mean, we're, what position uh, uh, 
do we need help? You look, I mean, in the outfield recovered. Uh, so yeah, we, we really believe that this, this team uh, can get back on track and, uh, and do what they did last year, the pitching. Uh, we're getting help there. Hey, O'Malley had a good, good two innings yesterday. He's on his way. Uh, Bradford, he's spinning the ball. He's uh, throwing his pin. So he's on a pretty fast track to, to come up here and help us. So we we got help coming. So that's almost like making a move at the deadline when you get guys like that. And then you look at the Grom. He's amazing. Uh, I mean, he's, he threw some change up change ups yesterday but or, or two days ago but he's uh he's throwing easy it's like 97 98 so you know he's he's on his way too so you know it's pretty cool you know when you look at these guys you know over the past year and what's your progress and uh, where they're at now you had said i believe it was yesterday about Degrom that you're still a ways away with him is is that just kind of an undefinable timetable right now does that mean like Two months. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, in a way, we we like to keep it away. A bit of pressure on him, but I'll say this: he's doing great. I mean, he's going to change ups now. He's going to be spending the years coming. Uh, we're right at the all star break, so you know, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, it could be a little bit sooner, but you know, we're we're going to stay with the program, and he's. He's letting it go, and you know it's only going to get better. And you know each time out, he's showing that he feels terrific. And so, I think uh, um, you know he, he's definitely pitching at some point here. Uh, you know this year, I just don't want to give him a target date. You you talked about all the things that were really working for this team right now, and obviously one of them is the outfield. But I was curious about any possible updates on Evan Carter. Obviously, safe to say we're not seeing him before the All Star break. But I haven't heard a whole lot about his, uh, I, I guess, his rehab or comeback or anything lately. How's he looking? Yeah, okay. the reason you haven't heard a lot, he hasn't been doing a lot to be honest. But uh, well, he did get a, another image, and uh, that was great news. So uh, didn't show anything. So we can start ramping him up again. So you'll you'll start hearing uh, more about him. Um, but we kind of had a back off there and had a little concern that you know you know something was going on. But um, I think he's uh, he's excited that uh, didn't show anything. So he'll get back to doing baseball activities. Excellent. Always love talk with you, Boach. Tell the guys that Metroplex is pumped and good luck today. Thanks. As always, I'll take any luck you send and uh, just keep rolling. All right. Go get raising. 